Hey, what is going on everyone? As you all know, I'm a huge fan of the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5, and I have been with Samsung's foldables for quite a while now. In fact, the Z Fold 4 was basically my favorite phone. I have never actually tested the Z Flip 4 or 5, or any Galaxy Flip for that matter, so I've been really, really interested in taking a look at this device and now that it's matured a little bit and it seems to be everybody's favorite phone, it's just something that I had to experience for myself. So let's go ahead and talk about what we got. Today I actually picked up the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. This is the 512 gigabyte version and this is in the mint color. And then I decided to go ahead and buy a case for it. This is one from Spigen. This is the Ice Shield. It's just a basic clear case, but I'm really excited to see how this one looks. In fact, the reason I actually ended up going ahead and buying a Spigen case is because Spigen was really kind enough to send me out some cases and screen protectors for the Z Fold 5. And after using them, I realized very quickly that they are actually pretty good quality. I've been using Spigen for quite a while and I've never had any issues with them, so this was definitely a good cop in my opinion. But regardless, it's not like I'm being paid to say that or anything. I have absolutely nothing when it comes to contractual obligations with Spigen or anyone for that matter. I just make these videos for fun and when a company says they want to send me out something, I usually just accept it, you know, just for the hell of it. But yeah, anyways, this is the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5. This is what you came here to see, and I literally just got back from Best Buy, and um, that is why my face is so red and sweaty. I probably should have, probably should have cleaned up before filming. Anyways, I just bought this phone, came back, and I am very excited to crack into it. So let's not waste any more time with that and just get right into the box. I love these pull tabs now. It makes things so much easier. I still like cutting the boxes because it feels, you know, it just feels nice, but it is very satisfying to use that pull tab. So inside of the box, the first thing you're going to see is the Z Flip. And then over here, you're going to get basically your standard essentials. You can kind of see through there. You get the SIM card uh, ejector, but that's pretty much all you're going to get. You're going to get the USB-C cable and the SIM tool. You know. I don't want to jump on like this bandwagon over and over again of saying, you know, they should include the charger, this, that, but honestly, for the price that you're paying for these devices, it's, it's kind of silly that they don't. Anyway, let's go ahead and flip that out. Boom. Without even taking this off, I actually kind of like the size of this. Now, my only concern and problem with this phone is that I am going to like it. And the reason why <laughs> that's a problem is because I'm a huge fan of the Fold and the S23 Ultra and you know basically the Fold and the Ultra series. I really don't want a phone to kind of like replace those for me in some way. Like obviously when the iPhone comes out I'll be covering Apple, this, that. But as far as daily driver goes, I mean I'm even rocking the Galaxy Watch 6 right here. This is the 6 Classic. This is the 43mm version and man like this whole Z Fold 5 and new Galaxy Watch 6 experience has been so, so, so nice that uh, like I don't, I genuinely don't think that I'm going to be using the iPhone for anything other than covering it. Typically I'll use it and, you know, do like a, a nine month later video, this and that, but I don't think it's the kind of phone that's going to get that kind of praise for me just because I don't see myself actually sitting there and really enjoying it for that much time. But this right here, so this is the mint color, like I said, it is just absolutely beautiful. One of the biggest things about this flip over the, oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> this form factor is so crazy to me. I don't know what it is. It's like, I wonder if I can get like a good, bam. <laughs> okay. Anyway, let's get right back to the video. So the thing about this that is a lot different than, you know, the other flip and fold or whatnot is that this is going to have a much larger cover display and we'll see that when we turn it on, but it's basically the whole front of the display. Uh, when it comes to the rest of the phone, we do get that new dumbbell hinge from Samsung that is going to allow it to close flat. This has been an absolute treat on the fold after using it for quite a while because I have noticed 
it really does stop a lot of the dust and debris from entering after it's been in your pocket for quite some time. So this hinge is something that I am really glad is, is something that is on this device. Although, you know, on the fold, we can say we want this and that. On this device, other than making it thinner, I don't really know where else they can go from here. I think that this is a pretty nice form factor. Obviously right here on the right side, you get the power button, which also acts as a fingerprint reader and you get the volume up and down. Now, I don't necessarily know how I feel about the placement of where these are located because that volume button is quite high on the phone. Although I understand because when it's folded, it's kind of in a really nice area for you to use when it's in your pocket, if you're listening to music and whatnot. So I don't, I don't actually hate where that is. I think it would just take some time to get used to it. You do get these nice flat edges and this one being mint is a little more green. It has a green tinge to it. And other than that, there's not really much else to say. Dual microphone, microphone on the top. Um, this earpiece obviously does act like a speaker for stereo and then you have the speaker on the bottom. And then of course it is USB-C because this is not an iPhone we're talking about. So on the front here, you do get two cameras and that's gonna be both 12 megapixels. One is gonna be an F 1.8 wide and the other is gonna be an F 2.2 ultra wide, as well as you do get the LED flash on the front. And this is capable of doing 4K 60, you know, 4K 30, 1080p 60, and so on and so on, as well as it does support HDR 10 plus. So nothing crazy when it comes to the cameras. It's not gonna be something that's mind blowing, though it will take nice photos like what we've seen from some of the other Samsung devices, especially considering that this does now have that Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on. There we go. <laughs> it kind of scared me for a little bit because it wasn't turning on, but you can see what I mean already by that much larger display. And it definitely does kind of make an impression. It is basically the whole cover except for this area right here. So I will run through the setup very quickly and then I'll get into the device. I guess while it's turning on, we can talk about some other features of this phone. Obviously the battery is gonna be the same size. Um, it is 3,700 milliamp hours, but with the 8 Gen 2, you should see some improvements in that battery life. That is also because of the UFS 4.0 that this phone has with the storage options that it comes with and big thanks to the 8 Gen 2 again for that. It is a very well-rounded device. Like you're not really skimping on anything here other than maybe the cameras for the price of the phone, but you are kind of paying for that luxury of it being a foldable. You know, you can kind of just like get up and tuck it into your pocket, no big deal. So when it comes to the feature set of this device, you're kind of paying more so for the convenience and the wow factor than you are for the feature set. But for this kind of phone, I don't necessarily think that that's a bad thing. By the way, fun fact, I am actually recording the top down of this video with the Galaxy Z Fold 5, and I'm kind of just putting this phone through its paces. I'm really interested to see how well it holds up in like real workflows and stuff like that, aside from just going outside and snapping images of it. So if you like what you see on the video, let me know what you actually think about it in the comments below. And before I forget to mention, I would really appreciate a like and a sub on the channel. I do all of this stuff out of pocket. I'm not shilling any sort of pre-order links or anything that get me like a $50 kickback for every device that's purchased. I'm not doing anything on this channel other than spending my own money and talking my own shit. So if you like what you see and you do support me, I would really appreciate it if you could just leave a like and subscribe to the channel because it does help out a ton, especially with the overall growth. When it comes to the weight of this phone, it's only gonna be 187 grams, which actually isn't bad at all. And feeling it in the hand, this phone does feel pretty nice. Like there are flagships that are reaching well over 200 grams and the Z Fold I believe is 230? I could be completely wrong about that, but this does feel really nice in the hand. And for the size of the phone, I think this weight is a nice perfect balance. All right, so here we go. We're finally in after honestly quite a while. That setup was very daunting, but this is one thing that I really want to see. That front cover display. Okay. So we get that always on display and then I just woke it up. So it's going to go off. I, okay, well, hold on. So it's off now and then I wake it up, touch and hold to change the look of it. 
Okay, so you can do some customization. This is actually really cool. I've never used one of these, so I'm going through this for the first time just with you guys if you've never seen this before. <laughs> Let's go with this one, why not? So we got this, we got our calendar, we got our weather, we got alarms, we got steps, and Honestly, all of these are going to be very similar, I feel like, to what you're going to find on something like a Galaxy Watch. Although, you will actually, and you can, you can actually use full-size apps inside of this whole cover screen right here with the use of good lock. So that's something that I do want to experiment with in a future video. But something like this is just so cool. You can use this cover screen to take a photo. Like right here, I'll just show you. That is the Z Fold 5 recording. And then... Yeah, I'm over here. So it's kind of crazy like how much customization and flexibility something this small has on this device. And I think that it's a really unique kind of design choice from Samsung. And overall, I'm really excited to mess with it and just see how well this kind of thing performs in a day to day. But yeah, anyways, that's been it. Oh, maybe we should actually check out this Spigen case quickly though. I haven't put on any of the uh, adhesive or anything like that though so it's not gonna sit perfect but this is a pretty nice case and uh, for something like this it actually does make a lot of sense since it does kind of protect both sides and I would recommend getting a screen protector for the outside as well since this is gonna be something that is always rubbing up against your pocket but yeah I, I totally can see myself using a phone like this so if you're really interested in me making a full length video about something like this or this device. I don't know why I said something like this. If you're interested in me making a full length video about this phone, let me know in the comments down below and I will go ahead and get right on it. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a like down below, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.